Okay, the first thing that you want to do before you load your sausage pack is you want to make sure that the correct end is affixed to the end of the plunger. And to do that, you want to look and make sure that you have this plastic part. It's either black or sometimes it'll be blue. Um, and it needs to be affixed to the end of that, the ram in order for the sausage pack to get enough contact. Verify here. Um, to move the plunger back and forth, you depress the lever at the back of the applicator and you can move the ram back and forth. You insert the sausage pack and what you want to do is put the sausage pack in and, and allow for a little bit of space at the end. In order to open up the sausage pack, all you really need to do is, is make a slit in the end that's going to be parallel to the, the crimp at the end. It's not necessary for you to cut off the entire crimped area. But if you make a slit about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch long, that's more than enough in order to um, get adequate flow from your applicator. After that, you take the nozzle and fix it in place with the retaining ring and then cut your nozzle at your desired shape and size. Then you're good to go. So you start squeezing the trigger. You apply product to your substrate and then if you need to stop and start, when you stop you click the lever on the back and that will relieve the pressure at the end of the sausage pack. Thank you for visiting the 3M Adhesives Lab today.